his spirit was almost going to be down because of the tour of the slave castle. But you know me at the beach, like already I'm feeling excited, so I'm just going to go over to that resort and show you guys what we can find it. Let's. Теплым днем или под дождем И снова слов пустых А что слышишь ты? Смотрю я лишь вперед Мечта меня ведет Иду не просто так И мне не нужен знак Слышу вновь и вновь Править всем so is it something you do? Is it a must that you have meat, fish and chicken? YouTube channel if you are new here hi there welcome my name is Lily and today I'm taking you guys to Volta region and we are starting with a town called Keta I cannot wait to be here okay I have a video of me arriving here and all that went down how I was received by a Ghanaian family um, please do it to watch that video and then follow up by this one all right today i'm going to be doing a lot okay if you know me you know that i've been planning this trip for the longest but i'm so happy that i'm finally making my way here please hit the subscription button and like this video i love you already you see why i won't be returning to accra mm -hmm. jennifer came again with something new today if I'm coming to your region and I don't get this type of hospitality, count me out. <laughs> count me out. This one is different. This, this one is like old. Okay. Yeah. I do it. Depends. Me, I like yam. I like uh, fried yam. I like roasted yam. Mm. The only one I struggle to eat is the boiled yam. Oh, yeah, but I've not eaten boiled yam in Ghana before to know if I would like it or not. Um, mm. I want to make some. Yeah, I don't mind. We'll do it together, Abby. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Where here is tomato? Tomato. <laughs> Going to look prettier than me, like isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going again. Like you went to look finer than me. Not be so. No, let me see you now. Like you guys. This is like that. Let me go to the house. I'll give you my camera. Hey guys, so we are going to Keta um, to see what we can find. Eat the food, eat the people. Look for trouble. Look for guys. I'm here in your town. Let's go to Keta. Everywhere we turn here is tomato. You guys, you can't be hungry here if you live here. The side of the road, all over tomato. You can't be hungry here. Hi. You can never be hungry here. Case closed. And this is Mr. John. Is that your name, sir? Uh, John. This is Mr. John, um, the owner of my hotel. Then this is my sister, Jennifer. So Jennifer went to look finer than me. Hey, I, I feel <laughs> This is where we came from. Okay. We are nearly at the junction. This is where I stopped yesterday when I came. Okay.
Okay, the town I'm staying with Jennifer is called We. That is Jennifer's hometown. Now we are heading to Keta Main Town, which is about 15 minutes drive from We. And I just want you guys to see what I can find on my way. Because in this video, Jennifer told me about a secret slave castle here in Keta. And that is where she wants us to visit. And then also she wants us to visit one of the most beautiful resorts around Ghana. Zurück nach Haus, ja. Yeah. Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen, zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen. Ich fühle dich sicher von Ost nach West. Komm, halt dich an mir fest. Was du noch nicht kennst Schau dich in Ruhe um, du musst nicht rennen Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen Zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen Ich fühle dich sicher von Ost nach West Komm, halt dich an mir fest I have only been here for a few hours, but I'm falling in love with how the people here are welcoming. They're very hospitable, as a matter of fact. If you have not heard any beautiful thing about the airways, definitely you may have heard that they are one of the most hardworking people you can find in Ghana. And they are also very hospitable. I have heard those two things about the airways, and I'm so relaxed coming here so right now we are heading to the slave castle to go and see what it looks like but my first uh, my impression about this place is like wow it's a wow it's giving me that bayasa and um it's giving me the bayasa state vibe kind of you know kind of vibe that thing and now what you're looking at right now is the school of nursing and midwifery bringing back memories of when we were young in my hometown of Ugoja, Nigeria. I used to take food to my sister who was then a student of a nursing school. I used to go give her food. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, it brings back memories of when I was, uh, when I was young and back home. So right now we are heading to the slave castle. We met other people here. They came all the way from a distant place to view the castle as well seriously i almost became emotional but i remember that this is our past so i didn't let whatever history i learned at the slave castle to hold me back because there's a lot of enjoyment to be done here and this video is going to deliver all of that so don't go nowhere all you owe me as always is please like this video i love you Yeah. 
In case you're wondering where is the the castle video and also where is the most beautiful resorts around here lily where are they don't worry those videos will be dropping very soon okay so that when these videos drop you will see them but i'm very proud of my work in this place i did an amazing job here and i can't wait to show you guys i told you guys they have one of the some of the most beautiful beaches around and they are still building the way they are developing this place <laughs> you guys uh, they're heading somewhere but hold on okay you've not bought it yet uh, okay what you have like zobolo what again no, we don't which one ginger drink, ginger drink okay maybe we can try that Okay, you want to give me the menu? Okay, thank you. Okay, see the menu. So when you gallivant to the side. Okay, apple, 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 tilapia seed. Okay, and the price is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is what we had last yesterday. Fish one. Which one do you eat for dinner? Mm, the, fish, the fish is not here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Then you What are you adding sugar? Okay. Small, eh? Small. I'm watching my roots. Okay. <laughs> so this is made of uh, made of what? Okay, you don't want to cheat us, eh? You got to fool and pour, <laughs> pour our clothes. <laughs> Okay. Let us see. Thank you. So, my sister. So, I'm using left. But I know you understand, right? It was a honest review. Drink it at there. <laughs> okay, let me get mine. So, we can chess. Okay. 
there so from now on my straw has to be like this all right thank you okay yes It's nice. it's nice, right? <laughs> so you guys should don't have to worry. You. It's so nice. I love it. <laughs> so this is ginger made with um, millet. Mm. Just that and a bit mm. of sugar. Yeah. And then they make it, keep it in the fridge or freezer fridge for it to be chill. And it is really nice. I love it. I think I've had this before in Northern Ghana. Spin this. We'll worry, Jennifer. All the shyness will run away when they see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are observing. This is my current view right now. Trust me, try vacation around here and you thank me. Honest. Okay, that's the name of this place. The name of this place is Emancipation Beach. So if you're around here, around Keta, ask um, for Emancipation Beach. Come here and enjoy yourself. It's very clean, very, very clean. Without feeling guilty. Right? to take a picture in this beach now are you planning a trip around ghana i mean like you want to visit uh you want to go on holiday or you're in ghana you're looking for a way to escape to i recommend that you try this town it is called keta at the volta region and it is absolutely a warm place to be the people are so welcoming they are so so friendly and the food my goodness you guys i have not shown you a lot even in this video i have uh, one or two foods coming and these are unique cuisine that i have not seen elsewhere in fact vota has its own uh when it comes to food they have their own they have a lot a lot and i'm trying to explore as many as i can so what i'm doing right now is me heading to uh jennifer told me about a floating bar around here so i want to go there and check it out i've created some really nice videos that i'm proud of on this trip everywhere is it inspires you to create content if you are a content creator visiting here so i heard about um, a roadside bar that is just newly established and i heard about the floating bar and i told jennifer of course i want to see it so that you guys can see and i'm going there to get this content if you are not subscribed to my channel kindly hit the subscription button if you have not turn on the bell turn on the bell so that when these videos drops you will see there are a lot of places and fun activities you can actually do here but this place for me i'll recommend maybe you just want to get away you just want a quiet time or you want to go on honeymoon i'm taking you guys to a place that is very really suitable for honeymoon around here but that will be in my next video so but first let's go to the floating bar and then i think i'm done with that i've filmed the floating bar and the roadside bar that i consider to be very 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 romantic now i'm heading to one of the most beautiful resorts in ghana i mean when i'm saying that you just don't um don't be don't be in a hurry to say oh there's another that is more beautiful i want to show you something seriously but that like i said will be in my next video if you are planning a vacation to ghana I recommend you try this region 
as a matter of fact i'm not just talking about the beauty and the cleanness of their beaches i'm talking about the how welcoming the people are the people are warm very welcoming so try and visit here if you're planning a vacation to ghana this place is highly recommended i have these videos that will be dropping soon but i'm keeping them i want to uh, put them exclusive i have these videos exclusive video different 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 i want it to be easy to for better understanding so like the resort that i talked about one of the most beautiful in ghana it will drop soon and also the floating bar and the romantic bar that i told i told you guys about and the sleeve castle all these videos are coming but i'm separating them so this is me like a vlog just going about and is me on my way to work to deliver and i'm super proud of the the videos that have you know created on this trip so we had a long day and we are returning home like when i say long but productive day like we had a hectic but productive day so jennifer and i were just returning and i saw this my future leaders that remind me of me as a child in my village so i asked if i could join them and they were cool with it so now okay. we're done and we're heading back <laughs> about to eat yeah this is how i like it i like it like this <sighs> we had a long and productive day we're not done yet so i want to eat jennifer's mom sells some of the foods here so i want to order for some and try for you guys to see right oh my god you guys please introduce this food <laughs> to the world what is the name this is Akle. Akle. okay okay and this is grana soup oh um, well, you guys look at this soup mm -hmm. so i'm going to give you guys an honest review Ma, we went there mm -hmm. keta is beautiful mm. yes <laughs> and the people are nice <laughs> This is good. I love it. Like, even pepper. Hmm. This baku is different from the Accra one. It is wahala. I don't. I don't like tea. tea. Hey, I don't like tea. Oh, you too, right? Me, I'm a confirmed village girl. Like. <laughs> Hot pepper. Hmm. So, is it something you do? Is it a must that you have meat, fish, and chicken? Okay, you just did that here. Yeah. Okay. This for eight cities, eh? Yes. It's fair. The banquet is too serious. Ah, it's fair. It's very fair. <laughs> hmm. So, guys, I have to just relax a little that food hits me hard so i'm ending this video here <laughs> yeah. i have to come back to my room and um, chill i'm ending this video here i'll see you guys tomorrow okay please subscribe and support me in any ways that you can all right thank you anytime i make this at home mm -hmm. even if i ask my kid to climb up not holding the stair, they should fall from there, they will do it. <laughs> they love it. And then and now at Lapia. Hey. <laughs> All the things I've sent them to do over the years. Mm -hmm. They'll do it.